Okay. How you doing, everybody? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 All the team. How are you? All right, Mike. Well, cool. All right, game. Where do you want me? I'm all right here. Yeah, yeah, so we can see you. Yeah. No, we're still throwing things at me, like rotten apples and that, are you? I'll tell you now, once right. I start talking, I can't stop. What do you do at Burton Street? What do I do at Burton Street? That's a good question. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. Uh, I started off as a boxer. When I was 16 years old, I left school and started boxing at 16, which is pretty old. Uh, I carried on boxing until I was 33, which is a very long career. And at 33, I retired, which was in 1994. And I think it was 1995, we moved into Burton Street School, and we've been here ever since. How, How many, many trophies? How many trophies? Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, the difference between amateur boxing and professional boxing, when you box amateur, you get a trophy. When you box professional, you get money. So as an amateur, Ooh. I know. <laughs> so as an amateur, I had about 30 amateur fights, which is not not a lot. Uh, and I, I, so I presume I got about 30 trophies. A club boss in the bell. Yep, I once won a bell. I won, I won the Central Area Lightweight title. That was probably one of the biggest achievements of my life. Are you proud of you? You're proud of it. What did I'm you very do? proud of it. Do you? I have a boxing nickname. What I used to do is I used to try and put a show on to entertain the crowd. I, I learned a long time ago that boxing is entertainment. And I used to love it, you know, showing off. I just used to show off. So Brendan named me Showboat. Uh, but these days that name's changed to Slowboat. Because <laughs> we're getting older and I'm getting a lot slower. So it, from Showboat to Slowboat. <laughs> When did you get your MBE? Oh. And, and tell us about your MBE. Right, that's probably one of the um, scariest days of my life. Like most of us, we all stood at the gates of Buckingham Palace and looked inside. You kind of like imagine what's taking place behind that fence, behind them walls. The day I actually walked in to receive the MBE, I remember just before I walked through the door into Buckingham Palace, I turned around and looked at the fence and so all the people stood looking at me walking in and that's when that's when reality actually set in that I were actually walking into Buckingham Palace. You know, we, I got the, although I got the MBE, it was for a lot of people at the gym because believe it or not, that little smelly old boxing gym across the road, we've raised over £350,000 for charity. So, and that's not me, that's, that's everybody in the gym. So I'm really proud of the fact that, you know, we've been able to do that. So it's been a great, great achievement. Music is funny yeah. you should say that. Yeah. Right. If you've ever been over to our gym, you'll always notice that we've got music on. You know, when I was boxing, we never had music on in the yeah. gym. But what's happened over the last 30 years or so, all boxing gyms now have music on because what we say boxing's like, boxing's yeah. like dancing. Lynn. Yes. Are you being to me now by seven o'clock? Half past seven o'clock this morning. Mm. Listen, at half past seven o'clock this morning, I was checking my eyelids for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I was still asleep at that time of room. If I could just tell you all a little story about Burton Street. When we first moved in, it wasn't actually derelict. It wasn't a derelict building, but you know, there were a lot of pigeons and things inside the building, which, we, you know, it's, over the many years that I've been here, this place has turned in from a, an old school into a thriving community. Like, look at you guys now. This building yeah. used to be used to be a kitchen warehouse place. You know, the building next door weren't even there. When I first moved in, there were not even any street lights on this street. I was here when they filmed the Full Monty. So, <laughs> see, yeah, see, I was here when they filmed the Full Monty, and um, nobody knew that the Full Monty were going to be as big as it was. It was just a, a low budget film, I think. Um, and it wasn't until I recognised one of the guys who came. So again, after we, we've had so many people, you know, we had, uh, we've had Roberto Duran, who's one of the old time boxing legends. We've had Jake LaMotta, uh, Prince Charles. We've had so many people come in that building, which has given me a chance to meet people that I'd have never have met if I was just hanging around on the street corner like I used to as a kid. So by, this is what I'm trying to do with the kids now, trying to get kids involved in something. Everybody's got to be involved in something like you guys here. You know, you meet people and you meet different people from different backgrounds and we're all the same. When you walk in that gym, it don't matter what colour you are, or we, there's two things we don't do in that gym. We don't discuss politics and we don't discuss religion. We're all there for boxing. 
you come through that door and we all, we're all just we're all there just to box. Not everybody who comes to our gym goes on to be world champion, but what we try and do is just create better people. And who knows what might happen? Like I say, you meet when? different people. Yes, Arun. Call me sir. Sir, <laughs> I'll call you whatever you want me to call you, Arun. <laughs> Haroon, Sir Haroon, is that okay? I'm not going to serious or something. Somehow I don't think this is going to be serious, Haroon. Yeah, I'm noticing that Haroon's a bit of a comedian. <laughs> it better be serious, Haroon. Go on then, fire away. Are you being too shopping today? Am I being shopping? Mm. No, not today. Uh, <laughs> I, do my, I do my big shop on, on a Monday. What's that got to do with boxing, Arun? Quinn, <laughs> yes. would you like a drink? <laughs> That's a good question, that. Uh, I'd like a cup of tea, but you know what? When we leave here, Arun, I'm going to get a cup of tea. Oh, so, yeah, thanks for asking, pal. Thank Don't give you your comment. So, should we give Glenn another round of applause? Yeah. Yes, yeah. come on. Yeah. So, one day you're going to have to come over to the gym.